Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to my videos every week. We are going to talk about the musical alphabet. So um, the musical alphabet contains seven letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it contains seven letters. These are the seven letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, N, G. Those are the only seven letters. We're gonna use the rest of them so it doesn't go up to H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, and the rest. You just use A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Those are the only letters that we use for the alphabet, okay? So, seems super easy, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So, now we're going to relate these letters to um, the staff which um, I'm just going to touch on just a little bit, the staff, and see how they work. So if you remember me saying there are only seven letters, right? So let's say we use the treble clef staff, okay? So the treble clef staff is where all the high notes go. So all of the high notes go on the treble clef, okay? So that's anything above middle C. So anything above middle C is considered a high note. So we're going to do the high note staff, which is called the treble clef staff. So treble, I'm going to write treble clef. Okay. So it looks like a line and then a squibbly squabble. That's how I teach it, a little squibbly squabble. Then you have a line, two, three, four, and five. So it's five lines and four spaces, okay? So, um, So, I wrote in all of the letters for the lines and the spaces, okay? So, um, remember I said it starts with A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? And then the space on the top is G, okay? But in the treble clef, the first line is E, okay? So, we're going to go E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, and F, okay? So it starts off with E. So it's E, F, G. So that's the end. It goes back to the beginning. A, B, C, D, E, F. Super easy, right? So E, G, e F, G, then A, B, C, D, E, and F, okay? So, um, we have funny little ways to remember the lines and the spaces. So, the spaces spell one word. So, the spaces spell the word face. Like your face. Like this is your face, right? So, face in the... Space. Face in the space, okay? That's how you remember your spaces because it's space, right? And then we move on to lines, and the lines are a little bit different. So, so lines don't spell a word. 
okay? Because that'd be kind of weird if the line spelled a word. What word is E, G, B, D, and F? There isn't one, right? So it's every good boy does fine. Okay. Every good boy does fine. Okay, so E, G, B, D, and F. Every good boy does fine. Super easy, correct? So that's how you remember them, okay? So, like I said, all of these notes were musical alphabet. All of these on the treble clef staff are your high notes, okay? So they're your high notes. So let's say those are the notes that kids sing and then um, later on women sing. And some men can sing up that high, but some don't, most don't, but most women sing up that high. So that's how you can tell which ones are high notes, okay? And now we're gonna put our musical alphabet into the low notes section. So anything below middle C is um, a low note, okay? And we call those bass clef notes, okay? Bass clef notes, okay? Bass clef, how do you think we spell bass? You think we spell bass like baseball? B-A-S-E? Nope. We spell it like the fish or like the guitar. You know, the bass guitar is called, it's spelled B-A-S-S. -S, so that's how the bass clef is spelled, but it's pronounced like baseball because the fish is called bass. But it's bass clef, okay? So it looks like, see? It's spelled just like the fish, okay? So this one looks like half a heart with two dots, okay? And then you put a line in the middle of the two dots, so that's one, two, three, four, and five, okay? One, two, three, four, and five. Super easy, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So now we're gonna do the lines and spaces for these using our musical alphabet, which is only seven letters that just repeat over and over and over again, okay? Smart. Okay, so I messed up. So I had to little scribble it out, okay? So the lines, it goes, okay, so hold on. It goes G, which is the end, right? G, and it starts back over it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, which is the end, and A, right? So it starts back over it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, how we remember our spaces, A, C, E, and G don't spell a word like they do with the treble clef. So, it's all cows eat grass. All cows eat grass. Those are your spaces. That's how you're going to remember it, okay? And then your lines are good boys do fine 
always. Good boys do fine always. That's how you're going to remember the lines. So remember, the lines have more letters than the spaces because it's five lines and four spaces. So in the treble clef, the five lines are every good boy does fine. E, E, G, B, D, F. Every good boy does fine. And then in the spaces, since it's four spaces, it's F-A-C-E. Face in the space, okay? And then we move to the bass clef. Remember, treble clefs are high notes. So we move to the bass clef, and that's your low notes. So your five lines are good boys do fine always, G-B-D-F-A. And then your four spaces, all cows eat grass, A, C, E, and G. Super easy, right? So let's say we're going to do it with a piano, right? So if we do it with a piano, it'll be your right hand. This is my right hand, okay? Your right hand on the piano plays all of your high notes, which means it plays all of the treble clef, okay? And your left hand plays all of the low notes, so it plays all of the bass clef, okay? Super easy to understand. Cool. So, what I want y'all to do is write your own, okay? Um, I'll post little examples up. I'll post little examples for y'all to um, work on these yourselves so that you can do that. And I hope to see you in another video soon. Um, if you want to video chat me, um, let your parents know so that you can see my face, okay? I hope y'all have a great rest of the year and a great summer. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye.